where we're standing today is the Stemple Creek Ranch in Tomales. And the importance of being here is that the research and proof of concept that we did on my ranch is now being demonstrated at full scale here in this system. The Stemple Creek Ranch produces lamb and beef, which is sold into the San Francisco Bay Area food system. There are several fine restaurants and, and markets that now sell the products coming from this. The exciting thing and the most important thing about this is we've now established scientifically that there is a version of agriculture that actually results in more carbon ending up in the soil in a durable form than is re-released to the atmosphere through the enjoyment of the carbohydrates produced. We've done application of compost on demonstration plots at full scale and through the ability now to track changes over time in the carbon levels of the soil system we'll gain more and more and more confidence in the actual measurement of the climate benefit of this kind of agriculture. The uh, other thing that's exciting about this whole idea is that it's not just a single practice. By working with the USDA Natural Resource Conservation Service we've actually now identified 34 practices that are all Farm Bill funded that are known to be climate beneficial. And those actually describe an entire agricultural operation that can be considered net climate beneficial, and we call that carbon farming. Now, all farming is carbon farming, but what's special about our approach is that we're managing for carbon flow into the system at a greater rate than maybe leaving it through the products or the emissions associated with it. And so as carbon farming is being formed and taken to scale throughout the region, we're advancing the research ahead of that to identify the regional response to these agricultural practices. We have a lot of understanding and confidence in the Marin County area because of our re research here. Now, last fall in 2016, we went across the state of California and identified 15 sites that the Natural Resource Conservation Service and the scientists from UC Santa Barbara and UC Berkeley feel represent the systems that we want to see if we get the same responses in them. So we went and did a complete baseline measurement of all 15 sites last fall, and then we applied the same exact compost on all of those systems. And now over time, we're gonna watch the system response in terms of the biogeochemistry, forage production, water function, and overall production from those systems. And it's our expectation and hope that once we've done that demonstration, then compost application on grazed rangelands will be considered by the Natural Resource Conservation Service to be a new interim practice standard and therefore farm bill fundable. In California, we have the, the Healthy Soils Initiative, which is a mechanism to distribute greenhouse gas reduction funds and subsidize or pay for implementation of the same suite of practices. We now know that the forage production increases are exciting to the actual land managers and there's a, a wonderful expression of carbohydrates in terms of fiber, and the Fiber Shed Project now is working with producers across the state, organizing their voice so that they can represent their interests as carbon farmers at Sacramento to maintain a steady flow of the Healthy Soils Initiative funding into this kind of climate restorative agriculture. Eating and wearing clothing can actually help cool the planet. And the exciting news here is that rather than agriculture adapting to a changing climate, we have enough evidence now that this approach of agriculture can actually make the climate adapt to agriculture. That's a pretty